Hi there, I hope you like my new animated intro. Today I'm going to show you how I have made uh, some decorative bunny dolls like this and like this um, by taking you through the steps for making the, the main part of the doll. Enjoy. Here are the pattern pieces that we'll be using. I've designed and adapted these with each iteration of the doll that I make. The lines on the front and back of them indicate possible places to add a different fabric for the clothing. The different heights of waist, length of leg or sleeve, and they're marked on the back too for reversing the parts when you're tracing around them. By adding a five millimeter seam allowance to each side at the line where the pieces meet, I've cut out a skin piece and a clothes piece for each body part. With right sides together, we start combining the skin and clothes pieces. Repeat for each leg and for the body and neck pieces too. The ear pieces will be sewn right sides facing as well, leaving a gap at the bottom to turn through. The head will have two seams initially, one at the back, one at the front, leaving a turning gap and also a dart to be sewn later. Now all the pieces are sewn, pressed and top stitched neatly on the clothes side. With right sides together again, I sew all around the body, leaving a turning gap at the bottom. Same again for the legs, leaving the top open. And arms, leaving the marked side open. Now we have all these seams done and the ears, next we sew the dart in the top of the head. I like to hand stitch this, I carefully open and press the curves into each other with right sides facing. Here's the head turned through. I like to sew the ears on afterwards rather than sew them into the dart so I can position them more carefully. Now I turn the ears right side out. A good pair of tweezers is handy for this, although I would rather get some hemostatic forceps one day. Here all the pieces are turned out. I stuff the torso using tweezers to fill the smaller areas. Then close the gap with a ladder stitch like this. I stuff the arms and tuck the seam allowance from the opening into the inside of the opening so there aren't any raw edges showing. Then I use pins to hold it in place while I hand stitch it onto the body. Repeat for the other side. For the legs, again I fold over the edge to the inside and use a neat ladder stitch to join them to the body. Here we have the arms and legs attached. Next is the head. Once stuffed, I tuck in the raw edges again and position the head, sewing it onto the neck. Repeat again for the ears, although I don't stuff those. I tuck the raw edge in and sew them on, slightly open so they can stand up. Here's an example of a blank doll I've made with a fabric tail added using a circle of fabric, stuffed and closed using a running stitch, then sewn on like the limbs. So as you can see, there are lots of possibilities for customising your own doll. For example, uh, with simple painted features, just painted on eyes, any details like that with fabric paint. Um, you can paint on the shoes as well. Hopefully you can see just fabric paint and some details glued on. Clothes like this can be added on afterwards, finishing off with a fluffy pom-pom for the tail. You can see I've used fabric paint for the ears here and details stitched on for making fake jeans. Um, you can stitch on the pockets, glue on little extras like this. Um, this one's got 
felt shoes that I made afterwards, just improvised shape to see what works. You can make little accessories for them. We've got a little shopping bag and even go on to make other animals as well. So here I've got a fox made again with sort of fake jean details, even a pocket stitched on afterwards. And yeah, lots of lovely, lots of lovely little details like that. And she's got a little handbag too. So yes, please try some of these ideas out on your own curvy uh, decorative doll. I would love to see what you make. Uh, please, please feel free to share your makes on my Instagram, on my Facebook page, on my website. Go and check them out there. I've got a shop. I've got a sale on right now as well. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.